much for your message. I give the floor to Mr. Dakiri, Minister of Manpower of Indonesia. And the next speaker will be Mr. Matar, Employer Delegate from United Arab Emirates. Mr. Minister, you have the floor. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mr. President, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegate, Ladies and Gentlemen, allow me to begin by joining other delegations in congratulating ILO on its centenary celebration. The big challenge for many countries in the coming century is to ensure universal social justice and the right to development are fulfilled. This trend will continue in the foreseeable future and will directly and indirectly the future of work issues. Therefore, we should take the momentum of this centenary conference to reinvigorate our commitment and take decisive action to achieve social justice, lasting peace and stability. Indonesia welcomes human-centered agenda proposed by the Global Commission on the Future of Work. We have conducted a series of national exchanges of views with the social partners to discuss this new agenda and would like to share our views on the three pillars of the human-centered agenda. First, on increasing investment in people's capabilities. We believe that lifelong learning is a key to navigate multiple transitions in the future of work. I should like to emphasize that this, this is a common responsibility of the government, employers, organizations, and trade unions. Furthermore, it should be an integral part of investment projects in developing countries. In this regard, we'd like to inform that Indonesia's Indonesian tripartite collaboration has been promoting better access for qualified skilling, upskilling, and reskilling, including massive apprenticeship to face the future of work. We are also pleased to inform that we would like to establish 1,000 new job training centers this year to better address the skill mismatch and youth unemployment in the future. Second, on increasing investment in the institutions of work. Indonesia is of the view on the importance of developing innovative social dialogue on the broader issues of the world of work, acknowledging that there is no one-size-fits-all approach in organizing social dialogue. The mechanism and form of national social dialogue should be developed based on national circumstances. I am pleased to inform the conference that we continue to strengthen social dialogue through our national tripartite cooperation agency on both national and local level. Moreover, as part of our effort to further increase investment in the institutions of work, we have also established the National Council of Wage, the National Occupational Safety and Health Council, as well as the National Productivity Council. Third, increasing investment in decent and sustainable work. Indonesia believes that investment in key areas of decent and sustainable work is an essential element in the future of work. In this context, Indonesia welcomes the recommendation in the report on the importance of prioritizing the development of rural economy. As many countries in the world, the rural economy still form the backbone of their economies. The government of Indonesia is committed to strengthen rural economic development by providing the village fund. Along with this initiative, along with this initiative we also develop what we call desmigrative or productive migrant villages, aims to improve the economic self-reliance and living standard of the migrant workers' returnees and their families at their home villages. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the promotion of a human-centered agenda at international level requires a robust multilateralism that links international policies in trade, finance, labor, and migration. Indonesia observes the current deterioration of multilateralism in all aspects. We must address this growing trend toward unit, unilateralism as a matter of urgency. In this regard, the ILO must play its part and need to strengthen its institutional capacity to engage and collaborate with all relevant organizations in multilateral systems to explore ways and means to implement the recommendation in the Global Commission report, and in doing so, ensuring that globalization benefits all nations. I would like to assure you that Indonesia stands ready to work with all stakeholders in the world of work in shaping national and international policies to ensure the future of work that ensures social justice for all. I thank you. Wallahu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.